today I'm going to show you another fiction text, but now we're going to look at some nonfiction and primary sources, and we're going to wrap up. And your big question, are you ready? You can note this down if you need to. Your essential question for today is to decide, was George Washington a worthy leader, or was he not a worthy leader? Okay, and you have a paper in there already glued that has that question on there. Your summative is on there. Was he a worthy leader or was he not? Do we all have to agree? No. 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 We do not all have to agree. Do you have to back up what you feel with evidence? Yes. Yes. How do you back it up with evidence? What are some ways that you can back up with evidence? You, you could use some of those things and say what well, and prove it. Like you could show where you saw it, or you could tell where you saw what you're saying. Like if I said the sky is blue, I would have to show you the sky. Okay, so you have to prove it. You have to use something to show. Let's have Anna drive, and who can share? I want you to talk to Anna and tell her. And you have to show her evidence. So use meaningful conversation. Look on the board and use meaningful conversation about something that you think. Where it says, um, General um, George Washington, leader of the Continental Troops, came the firm reply. Where it says, Explain your thinking. Well, well, when it says firm reply, it, um, it makes it look like gen um, General George Washington is not somebody who's like silly and nice. It's like he's somebody who's serious and needs to do business. Okay, so go ahead and annotate that for us. Have you ever had an experience that tells you why something is firm? Has anyone ever been firm with you? Yes. <laughs> when has someone been firm with you? When I don't clean my room, they get really angry and they speak. Really Who loud. does that? My mom and dad. Okay. Is that a file folder in your brain? Yes. Do you all have a file folder of someone being firm at home? Yes. Yeah. So you can relate to this, right? So you're going to work in groups and you're going to look at various pieces of text and primary source. And your goal today, your objective, is to come up with four character traits for George Washington. And will you make a note why he said that? Right on the side, pick a color and write the note. Pick a different, yeah. You had two positive and two negative traits. Okay? You need to come up with two positive and two negative traits that you think George Washington had that would help decide whether he's a good leader or not a good leader. And that's what you're going to end up doing. Where do you think your resources are? Groups, take all the materials you need and scamper four character traits for me about George Washington. Four, your table can sit. Five, four, Three. Okay. So, what are we like? Where do we put that? We're writing two, like one positive. I mean, two positive and two negative on this picture of George Washington. So, like, okay. So, look over there. If she put selfish in the oil, and is it like asking? And then you like. Uh, so we could do. Um, he was. He was fearless. Mm -hmm. but we should, and then we could like put an example. But we should put like words that we think he is like on another page, like this page, and then like see which we could make a list of them, like we did on our scamper, and then see which ones are the best. Based on what I read, imposing would be a character trait. Be Positive or negative? Negative because he was controlling over his troops, but if he wasn't controlling, that he wouldn't be caring about them. Okay, so they kind of had to work together, they had to weave together. He had to be imposing, which was negative, but it can be used positively because if he wasn't, he couldn't be caring. Who has one more that we can kind of, and tell me, use a stem, show me the evidence. It's like, show me the money, show me the evidence. Ooh. Ooh. According to a Good. picture I looked at, it said that, well, it shown, it's, it showed him like standing strong, like standing up tall and proud.